Hello, students. So, I said last week that we were going to get into more math equations for Excel. And here's generally what you're going to wind up creating by the end of this assignment. And uh, let me just delete that little note there to myself. And uh, yeah, so taking a look at this, you've already got it. It looks a little bit more complicated than what it really is. So remember how last week when you had that company and you found their financials, you found their little page right here in Yahoo Finance on I Pick Nintendo, and you went and typed those numbers in. Well, we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to be using math equations. So I've got, you know, oops, my total revenue instead of total revenue. So we've got total revenue, gross profit, operating income, net income. We had those four things as the stuff that we wound up doing. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a few more, you know, research, SG&A, income tax, minority interest. If your company doesn't have them, like if they have a little dash there or something, just put a zero. But, you know, we're trying to just get a couple of things here. Now, obviously, as you notice, this is not every single thing that's listed on this sheet. So my end result is probably a little bit different than what the actual end result is. Let's see what their uh, net income is. Yeah, their net income here is 139590. And according to mine, it's it's not. It's 154. That's because I'm not taking into consideration every single thing they have in here. If you really, really want to transpose everything you see on this page, then by all means do it. But I'm not grading you on accuracy based on, you know, this sheet. I'm just picking, you know, two things equation. Two things equation. So that's what I did. Two things equation, two things equation, two things equation. Because we're going to go into math functions. And I'm going to just show you at the end result what this is all going to wind up looking like. What is a math equation? Because you remember, you had gross profit. You typed that in last week. Here's what my gross profit is right here. Look, it's an equation. It says equals C6 plus C8. It's taking this cell plus this cell. And this cell... It's an accounting format, and it has the parentheses around it, so that means it's a negative. So this subtracted by that equals this. And so if you notice, whoops, let's not click outside of it and make it H8. If I were to change this and make this a zero, this gross profit is not going to say 403541. So if I just make this a zero, you'll notice it is now negative 652,141. And not only that, you'll notice my averages changed over here, like my percentage changed. My average over here changed. Here, I'll even control Z to undo this. Look, all that snapped back. Even then, look at my five-year forecast here. Like, look, look at my number here for 2023. I'm at 1,446,000. If I simply just type a zero right here, and I type in a zero for this number, Oh, now my end result is negative 24,000. This entire chart, all these green lines, these guys right here, these guys right here, these guys right here, this percentage change, everything in this average, and everything over here, every single thing has wound up changing based on one simple number change. And now you see it's back to these different numbers. So essentially, all this right here is going to be done automatically. Same with pretty much everything right here, right here, right here, and right here, and right here. All of it's going to wind up being done automatically. You're just going to put the equations in, and the computer will be able to figure it out on its own. So you're just really typing in the numbers here, here, here and here and then you'll be able to fill in the rest with your equations so while at the front so while at the front it looks a little bit scary and terrifying this is all math it's all it is it's just mathematics division multiplication converting decimals into fractions this is the type of stuff you need to know to have any in any sort of math class 
So, let's go into the actual specifics of how a uh, how Excel operates math equations in the next video.